Last night before I went to bed, I discovered this. You see this here? They used to be plants. And you can see that they are no more. This has happened because of damping off. And you can see one starting to go there and these over here. So I'm going to do what I can. to stem this tide here. The ones that are already bending are probably not savable, but I'm gonna see what I can do about it. Uh, you, So what I did last night was uh, made myself a hydrogen peroxide solution and then sprayed it on all the soil uh, and then uh, put some dry cocoa core on top. Good thing I had that to kind of help with the moisture, but I need to do something a little bit more at present. So I made myself another hydrogen peroxide solution. I did about, uh, probably about 10 to one, 10% hydrogen peroxide in water. So that's a one to 10 ratio. Okay. so. I'm going to do what I did last night and give these a spray. This hydrogen peroxide uh, will help to kill fungus. Prevent fungus, kill fungus. I don't know how much it's going to do on the ones that are already fading, but I want to try to prevent this on any of my other ones. So I'm going to give them a decent soaking here. I'm going to stop hitting the camera. So I'm doing this as a preventative uh, because again, once once your seedlings have started to go, I really don't think there's anything that can be done to save them. But maybe I can save the one next to it. We'll see. Uh, and I've been keeping these moist so that I can try to sprout. But you can see that little seedling. It was up the other day and had leaves on it and now it is not so it may be suffering also parsley <laughs> i'm a parsley i'm gonna pot i'm gonna pot up i was waiting for the roots to start showing through the bottom but um they're already pretty tall uh i know they're a little bit leggy but I'm gonna give them a pot up too. Spray some hydrogen peroxide in there. Solution, hydrogen peroxide solution. Okay. Now, next. So that's the hydrogen peroxide. I have these dill that I've potted up already. I'm gonna do some for them. Nicely, a hydrogen peroxide solution will also help uh, eliminate your fungus gnats. So that's a nice side benefit. So I only made up a little, um, I only made up a little of this, probably a third of this bottle. 
uh, and you can see just spraying it on what I have has mostly used that up. Uh, hydrogen peroxide solution will not last uh, more than about an hour, so you really don't want to make more than you're going to use. It won't really save. All right, I'll set that aside. What I have here is a nice bag of vermiculite. A vermiculite is a mineral. It's actually expanded mica. I don't know how they do that, but it's very lightweight. Uh, it, it'll help keep the top of the soil from being moist. Okay, so I have a bit of vermiculite here in a cup. They're very small in size, small texture, very lightweight. And what it's gonna do is gonna help keep the top of the soil dry. And I should have put this on after sowing the seeds, but I didn't. But now I have a bag, so I'll make sure to do that with the next round. All right, I got some of these done. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, because, of course, the leaves were wet because I just sprayed it, some of the vermiculite is sticking to the leaves, so... I have to remember to take care of that in a little while when they dry down a little bit. Um, but I'm going to continue to add some vermiculite here. Okay. Those are done. I'm going to take this tray out of the way. All right, let's do the dill. I'm going to attempt to not get vermiculite all over the actual leaves. And I'm going to do that by tilting it sideways. Okay, that should be sufficient. Still is done. Okay, so now I've got the parsley. Now I wanted to go ahead and pot up the parsley, so I'm gonna do that before I put the vermiculite on. All right, I like for my indoor plants to put a coffee filter in the bottom just to kind of help the soil not fall out. It's not necessary, but it's nice. And I'm gonna wet it just a little bit so that it sticks a little better to the sides and the soil doesn't fall out. Okay, got a little extra water in there. All right, now I'm going to put some soil in it. All right, I've got two pots packed with some soil. Okay. Fluff that up a little bit. Uh, and now I'm going to try to extract these very leggy <laughs> dills. Come on. out. All right, so I got those moved. My kid woke up from his nap, you know, as it does. Uh, so I put three, three cells in here, one, two, and three, uh, and then I filled it. I actually used this, um, had some dry, some dry potting soil I had already made up. So I used that to fill in around the edges. 
Um, since it was dry, it actually went in pretty easily. And same thing over here. These herbs are really an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I did, I filled in around those three. So now what I'm going to do is put a bit of vermiculite on top of that. Here's my vermiculite. This one got more of the dry soil. Okay. Now, I didn't spray these with hydrogen peroxide uh, because I was going to move them, or maybe I did. I don't remember. But, all right, we'll see if those perk back up a little bit. Now, I am not going to pot them up from here. They are just going to grow together as a mass, as well as they do. This is the container they will be in ongoing. Okay, so some vermiculite on top. All right, I'm going to put both of these uh, and bottom water, the bottom water them because they were uh, added some dry soil. Okay. All right. All right. There's some water in the bottom, and I will let the soil absorb that, and I'll check on them. But that should be good. Okay. So we will see if I have staved off the disaster, uh, and uh, I'll check in with you about it in probably a week, and we'll see how it goes. Have a nice afternoon. Okay. A quick update on the damping off issue. I lost a couple of seedlings from the purple basil. If you compare this to how many I had before, you can see I lost some. But I did not lose them all, at least not yet. So that's good. We'll see in the morning. Um, I did pick maybe one or two out today that were I did pick one or two out today that had started to fall over uh, and my rosemary I lost maybe one or two from the rosemary so if I can set the camera where you can see it let's see if I can just pluck it out Okay, you can see the root on it's all right, but it is clearly, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> it's clearly been to the stem. I mean, I may have broken that one moving it, but that seedling's not coming back anyway, so. I haven't lost any of the others. Time and oregano. I haven't lost any of those. Man, oregano takes forever. It's a little itty bitty tiny. So I'm keeping an eye. I'm keeping an eye on the purple basil. So what did I do to make that happen? Well, um, I let it dry out a little bit. Uh, I actually didn't water it again until today. Uh, I put the vermiculite on the top and I sprayed it with a hydrogen peroxide solution. Um, that was the first day. I also sprayed that same solution uh, the next morning and the next evening, just along the top. I also sprayed a little bit of neem and today, I let it dry until today and then they were pretty lightweight. The seedlings didn't look like they were 
um, super dry or anything, but the soil was very, uh, was dry. Um, so I watered from the bottom with uh, the same sort of hydrogen peroxide solution. Uh, and that's what I watered them with tonight. So that hopefully will get taken up into the soil and uh, kill any more of the fungus that is causing the damping off. And why did it happen in the first place? Well, um, I think I watered them too much. And it's chilly. It's chilly out here in my sunroom. We only keep it at about 66, 65 degrees. Um, so I also bought a heat mat. I haven't gotten that set up yet, but we'll keep an eye on it. And I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.